Breaking news, live from our studio in Red Deer, Alberta. A mother is left terrified after her son fell off his bike in Clearview Ridge. We have her live from Red Deer Regional Hospital to share her devastating experience. We were going down our usual bike trail when Colton swerved and fell off his bike. When I saw his head hit the ground and the impact, Knowing he had hemophilia, I just I knew I had to get him to the hospital as soon as I could. We are pleased to be joined by Dr. Stragenoff, who is here to explain hemophilia and its effect on the physiology of the normal body. Thank you so much for coming. Thanks for having me. So, Dr. Stragenoff, what exactly is hemophilia? Well, hemophilia is a blood coagulation disorder that upsets the normal blood clotting mechanisms. Um, when a person is cut or has received impact to a specific part of their body, they are unable to coagulate properly to stop the bleeding. Hemophilia is one of the most commonly severe inherited coagulation disorders. Can you tell us more on the different types of hemophilia? I think it's important for our viewers to understand the severity of this disorder. It is an inherited disorder that is X-linked. Um, that essentially means that it is primarily males who are diagnosed with hemophilia. There are three types of hemophilia, two of which we will talk about today. Can you explain hemophilia A? Hemophilia A represents 85% of hemophilia diagnosis. It is a result of deficiency in factor 8. 90% of individuals do not produce enough factor 8, whereas the other 10 produce defective factor 8. What is factor 8? Factor 8 is a blood clotting protein. How does hemophilia B differ from hemophilia A? Hemophilia B results from the production of a defective factor 9. Um, once again, defective Defective factor 9 is a blood clotting protein. In both cases, the entrance and blood clotting pathways will be affected, and usually the individual will produce insufficient fibrin clots, which result in the bleeding. From my research, uh, usually bleeding usually occurs in the soft tissue. It can occur in the gastrointestinal tract, the hip, or the elbow. That is correct. What are some other types of blood coagulation disorders? Uh, von Willebrand disorder is another common one. It arises from the qualitative or quantitative deficiency of von Willebrand factor. Um, this is a protein that is required to stabilize factor 8, which is one of the blood clotting proteins that we discussed earlier. Well, let's take a break. We will be back shortly. We're back. Continuing with Dr. Stragunov, we are now going to discuss how a normal blood clot is formed. All right, so I have my little poster here behind me. Um, so what happens is when you cut yourself, you create a break or tear in the blood vessel wall, um, which then initiates the feedback cycle. The clotting occurs as platelets adhere to the site and release chemicals. These chemicals then attract more platelets. Um, the clotting proceeds until the break is sealed by a newly formed clot, which then marks the end of the feedback cycle. So this is a positive feedback cycle? It is. So you're telling me if I do, I have hemophilia A or B, this clotting doesn't occur because the chemicals that are detected are defective or there isn't enough produced? That's right. So when you have hemophilia A or B, these chemicals that are being released are either being found defective or there's not enough being released in order to proceed with the clotting process. So since hemophilia is a blood disorder that you're born with, what are some treatments? Replacement therapy is a very common way to treat hemophilia A and B. What exactly is replacement therapy? It is where concentrates of clotting factor 8 are slowly dripped or injected into a vein to treat hemophilia A. As for hemophilia B, factor 9 is slowly dripped or injected into the vein. These infusions replace the clotting factors that are either missing or that are low. The severity of hemophilia has a great importance on the treatment you receive. In the case of Colton, he has a severe case. Yes, so in his case, it was important to see a doctor immediately, as he had received major impact to the head, which could have then resulted in internal bleeding. It's important for, to consider vitamin K deficiencies as well when discussing the synthesis and function of blood clotting factors. Without it, your blood coagulation factors will not function. Thanks again, Dr. Shagnoff, for coming today. It was my pleasure. Thanks for having me. That's it, Red Deer. We'll see you tomorrow evening.